All right, what's going on today, you guys? So today I want to talk to you guys about the KRK Rocket Drivers. Um, if you guys don't know about KRK or haven't, um, you know, messed with KRK Rocket Studio Monitors before, um, it's good to know a little bit of history. So KRK has been designing their monitors since about 2003 um, when they first came out with the Generation 1 KRK Rockets. Um, we are now currently in Generation 4. Um, and the KRK Rocket lineup, as well as their other lineups of monitors, have come a very, very, very long way. Um, just in terms of, you know, their ability to uh, output high fidelity um, sound, uh, their overall design, um, and just, uh, you know, <laughs> everything about them. Um, except, of course, these iconic little yellow cones that, uh, that we've seen since the beginning, uh, which kind of helps them to mm, separate themselves from other studio monitor manufacturers on the market. Now, today I specifically want to talk about the drivers and uh, the drivers on the rocket. So the cool thing about the uh, the new the new drivers is that KRK decided that they were going to make them with Kevlar material. Now, the cool thing about this Kevlar material is that uh, it ensures that you get the same pretty much sonic integrity across all the frequencies that you're working with. Um, and it also helps to just minimize overall listening fatigue. Um, it's not a very harsh material. Instead, it's, it's very strong, it's very lightweight, and it's very, very tight. Um, so you get nice clarity, you get a nice sound reproduction. It kind of helps to hold back those low frequencies that tend to want to just explode out of your monitors and, uh, and really let and it lets through uh, the nice uh, high frequencies really, really nicely. Um, so you get uh, a pretty you know, even keeled uh, sound throughout the entire range, which is very, very important when it comes to mixing, very, very important when it comes to monitoring, or, uh, or for those who are just active listening, it's nice to be able to listen for hours on end without feeling like, you know, your ears are going to bleed. Um, and so, you know, they've done a really, really good job at, uh, at updating these drivers, um, especially considering uh, the fact that KRK monitors were long, long notorious for having this very kind of flabby, undefined low end. Um, and, you know, for, for many, many years, they were huge in the EDM community, and they still they still are. They're very big uh, when it comes to EDM and hip-hop because they had that, like, overbearing low end. Um, but for, you know, many other producers and engineers who are in the industry, KRK monitors were a bit of a joke. Um, they just, they were hyped. They were basically hyped speakers. Um, and when it comes to mixing, um, especially professionally or professionally producing, you really want a pair of flat frequency response monitors that are going to give you all of the frequencies that you're dealing with in a very um, even range. Because if you don't have that, you're, you know, going to create something that sounds really, really cool when it's in your studio, and then you bring it out to any other system, and it's just too much. It's just hyped up, um, and, you know, things are sticking out, and your mix just kind of falls apart. Um, so the fact that KRK was able to update their drivers um, made a huge, huge difference, and I would say that uh, the drivers that you find in the G4 um, Rockets are incredible, and I would highly, highly recommend them. Alrighty, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, my little rant on KRK Rocket Drivers. Uh, if you guys have any questions or any insights into why you do or don't like the KRK Rocket Drivers, please feel free to let me know in the comments. All right, take it easy.